What's up you data friends, it's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this animated bar chart over here where you can just click play and see how the number of confirmed cases changes by state or country and by date. So each day on the play represents at the date that we see over here. Additionally, we can see the total confirmed cases, the total deaths and the case fatality rate, the total recoveries and the recovery rate. Also, we can see the total deaths by state and country, same way as we see the cases over here. And at the same time, we can see how the total number of cases changes by country on the map. We can also use the slices at the top. So let's say I only want to see US data. I go into country and region, I type in US, I select the US and then I click play. So now we will be able to see how the total number of new cases is changing over time in different US states. Right, to get the raw data to create this, I'm going to have a link in the description where it's going to take you to the John Hopkins University GitHub repository where you can download the data. So they keep updating the data every day so you can have up-to-date data. In order to clean and transform the data, I have used a Python script where, again, you can download this script and run it yourself. Or you can watch the first video of this series where I have explained step-by-step -step how I have created this script and why. The only thing I have changed from the previous videos is that I have added one extra filter, which is called Hubei versus the rest of the world. And the reason I have added this is because, so is this slicer here at the top, is because if I have all the data, then Hubei, which is where the virus was born, is actually skewing the data if I click play, because it holds about 60% of the data. Right, before we start creating this front end dashboard now, let me just say that if you're new to my channel and you're passionate about data science, I would really appreciate it if you click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. Right, to create this, we want to go back to the dashboard we created in the previous video, which I'm gonna have a link in the description on how to create this. Then we want to right click on this one and duplicate the page because we're going to use the same layout. Then on this duplication of the page, we want to delete the visual over here, this visual over here, this visual over here, and then we want to redesign all the visuals that are left over here to exactly the same positions as we have in this dashboard over here. So you want to move them up on the right and you want to readjust these uh, main summary numbers here at the top in the middle. After you finish with readjusting your visuals, you want to go into these three dots over here, click on import from the app store and type in animated, click enter, and then you want to add the animated bar chart race. So you click on add here, and then it's gonna appear down here. Then we want to click on the visual. We want to make the visual take all the space like this. Then in the name, we want to add the province and the state. In the value, we want to add the confirm daily. And then in the period, we want to add the cumulative day two. By the way, I'm using exactly the same uh, table or row data we've used in the previous video. So you should go and check that previous video first. As you can see, it straight away started playing. This is because it's on autoplay. So I want to go here and I want to click over here. And then I want to remove the autoplay. So this is going to make it responsive now with the play we have above here. So if I click play now, you can see it corresponds to the visual. The next thing I want to do is to format the paint of this visual over here and then touch on the animated bar chart so you can see it added the title and the borders. Additionally, I want to go over here and remove the period just because the period I'm going to use is the date over here. So if I click play now, I can see exactly which period it is, which day it is of the month. Then I want to click stop quickly here. I want to go back on the visual, go on the title and change the title to be the confirmed cases by province, state and country. A country is because on some countries like European countries, we don't have state, so we have the full countries. And on some countries like the US, we have state, so we have the state breakdown. Additionally, I want to copy this quickly and paste it as it is. 
and then resize it to fit in the top corner like this and then in here i want to switch the value from confirm daily to be the deaths daily which is going to be the one over here so i remove the confirm daily and now if i test it quickly i click play i can see that this is working fine the map is also working fine the confirmed numbers are working fine we can see the dates and the number of data points we can see the total numbers in the main summary and we can see that both uh, animated bar charts are changing depending on the date the next thing i want to do is to change the title of this graph over here so i go into title and i set the title to be the deaths daily by state and country and the last thing I want to do is to click play and let it play for all 53 data points you have just to see if everything works as it should. So as you can see, we started with the states in China. This is why we can see uh, all the dots concentrated in China. Additionally, if you've noticed, I have just sliced the rest of the world. So this is excluding Hubei. Otherwise, the numbers were going to be very skewed towards Hubei. And we just let it play so we can see 18th 20th of february still china was very strong in terms of new cases then we go end of uh, feb we can see this is where south uh, korea started picking up then we have italy and iran picking up around the 6th of march as you can see then we have uh, italy taking the lead so let me just stop this quickly so this is the 14th of March. We have Italy with a big massive lead. Then we also have uh, Iran, South Korea and Spain. Actually, South Korea went backwards. So the virus is not doing uh, well, well. It's doing well because we have less cases. So this is actually very good. But we have Iran, Spain, Germany and France uh, picking up in terms of new cases, which is not actually very good right this is it for this short video i'm going to have this dashboard posted online and the link in the description so you can go on and play with it see if you can get any new insights yourself or you can just watch the previous videos and see how to create all these dashboard from scratch yourself additionally if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below if you feel that you've gained enough value out of this video please click that like button subscribe to my channel and enable notifications otherwise thank you very much for watching and i'm going to see you in the next video